once you've decided that you need to include some scenarios in your financial model, and let's face it, pretty much any financial model worth its salt should include at least a couple of scenarios. Uh, once you've decided that you need to put in your scenarios, you've got an option, several options. Excel will give you um, a couple of different ways of um, creating scenarios from a technical perspective. So you've really got three options when it comes to Excel as to uh, what sort of Excel tool you want to use to create your scenario. First is the um, probably, I guess, the simplest and most commonly used form of scenario analysis, and that is a manual um, drop-down selection. Let me show you what I mean. So you've got your uh, basic um, drop down here. It's a data validation type of drop down. You've got your base case, best case, worst case. Um, you change the case and all the numbers will change as a result. Okay, let's take a look at the, uh, the combo box. Now this mechanically is a very similar concept. Um, you've got your drop down box, you've got best case, base case, worst case showing there. Um, from a user perspective it's probably better because you can see straight away that uh, what you need to do, that you need to actually select um, and make a selection. Okay, so that's your manual scenario selection. Uh, you show one scenario at a time. Uh, probably the most commonly used sort of scenario analysis in Excel. Uh, let's talk about Scenario Manager now. It is a tool within Excel which is specifically for showing different scenarios. Let's take a look at that now. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail on it, I just want to show you what it is. We can go into it a bit more detail if you um, take this com that component of the course. But um, just to show you what it is, if you go into Scenario Manager and then you just um, say I want to look at the best one, uh, best case, and then show, and that will change, base case, show, worst case, show, so you can see that the, uh, the numbers are changing. To my mind, not a particularly useful tool, um, but just to give you an overview that that is uh, available in Excel. Now, data tables are a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, they will actually show multiple results for a scenario in one table. Let me show you what I mean. So this is an example of a data table where you have this is the scenario um, of having an interest rate of 6%, 6.5%, and um, showing the multiple results of what your monthly repayment would be under all of these different interest rates. So instead of having to change the interest rate here, you can see the results um, simultaneously in a data table. So needless to say, data tables are probably one of the more complex tools in Excel modeling. Um, I just wanted to give you a um, really brief overview of all of the different types of tools that are available to you in scenario analysis. I guess in order to call yourself a, um, an expert financial modeler, you need to know um, all of the tools that are available.